This right here is the funniest and the saddest thing I've seen in the water. Just tick around, guys. You're going to want to see what happens here. You're all kidding. banks today. Hopefully nice and clean and lots of fish. Okay. Yeah, bloody beautiful. Oh, How's this, KT? Excellent. <laughs> Looks bloody blue. Yeah, for a good day, I reckon. So we're heading down for our first dive of the day. As you can see, visibility was incredible. It was over 30 meters for sure. So we're diving pretty deep here today, guys. If you're going to do this, make sure you're doing it properly. You want at least one or two dive buddies on the surface watching your back. If you have a shallow water blackout, you want someone there. As you can see, it's very fishy today. Got these beautiful goat fish in the foreground, heaps of surgeon fish. Really hoping for a big snapper to swim in with those Sergios, but unfortunately no luck. Can't be that lucky on the first dive. So this is me dropping down on my fourth dive for the day. Same drift, just cruising down towards the bottom, seeing what I can find. I spotted this nice little spangled emperor. You can just see it just there. Uh, it's not the most desirable fish, but I was happy to shoot that and open up my account for the day. Just get one fish ticked off at least but then I looked over and to my left and there was this monster coronation trout easily the biggest one I've ever seen this thing must have been five or six kilos but unfortunately it did not want to bar me and I was down probably 32 meters there now it wasn't long after that dive Liam went down and down to fish to shoot Liam has one of those brand new Timberline Rob Allen spear guns and as you can see, they get the job done. I've seen Liam shoot quite a few good fish with this gun. One of the boys went down to put a second shot in the fish and I went down to make sure the sharks stayed away from it. Now the sharks were pretty thick on this day, but uh, fortunately they were pretty well behaved and we didn't lose a single fish to sharks. As I'm heading down, I'm checking out the two shots in the fish and yeah, this thing is not going anywhere. The only risk to losing this fish is if a shark comes up to grab it, and that's what my job is. I'm heading down to make sure that doesn't happen. You can see this one cruising in. He's pretty fired up. He's looking for a feed. That cheeky devil. And, yeah, just off in the background, you can see that massive school of Trevally. Oh, I think that's what Liam shot the kingfish out of. Yeah, sorry, mate, not today. No free feed. Off he cruises. So fish secured, and Liam's got the first fish for the day. So I'm heading back down on that same school of Trevally to see what else is down there. Just above the school you can see this pretty big spangled emperor. I, I really wanted to shoot him, but uh, he was pretty clever. He, he knew what was going on. He didn't really give me a shot to be honest. But uh, yeah, just really cool to see these Trevally. Fun to swim with. I wasn't too interested in shooting one. Now on this dive, I've never wanted to laugh cry, swear, all the emotions, just just look at it. So I'm lining up on this big wahoo, 25, 30 kilos, easy, and out of nowhere, a shaft comes flying, but that's not even the best part, alright? That's half of a gun, the rest of the gun is still in my mate's hand. Kidding. So on a previous dive, my mate's reel was playing up, so he took the reel off the gun, but he didn't replace the bolt. So the bolt held the reel to the gun, but it also held the rest of the gun to the handle. So when he shot the fish, the gun pulled in half, so the fish was lost, half the gun was lost, 
I was heartbroken because I thought I was going to shoot a massive wahoo, and my mate was heartbroken because he just lost half of his really expensive gun. All in all, a disaster. But there's no time to mope around. I haven't got a fish in the boat yet. I need to get some fish for dinner, so we're straight back into it. Now on this dive, I pulled off my best ever shot. I'd like to say I'm pretty good, but it was a fluke. <laughs> As we're drifting along these deeper reefs, we're using a mixture of burley, like some chummed up fish, and some newspaper. So, as the, as the uh, shredded newspaper sinks to the bottom, it looks like exactly like the fish, so it works almost as good. And we're also using a flasher. The flasher we're using is a shredded goon bag with a snapper lead attached to it. And that thing was dynamite all day. We had marlin swim up to it on two separate occasions this day. Unfortunately though, I didn't get to see them. So as I'm approaching the bottom, I've spotted this green jobfish. Now it's pretty deep here, so I decided to take a bit of a long shot and it paid off. I smacked it straight through the brain. And now for the slow motion kill shot. Yeah, I know you guys like that. Yeah, so this was a pretty special fish for me. Uh, haven't shot many decent sized jobfish locally, so yeah cool fish it's pretty stoked so I finally got my first fish in the boat so now we're eating fish for dinner happy days Snapper too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you get off the bottom? Yeah, he's on the bottom. Yeah. You! Jobby? Yeah, Jobby. Oh, nice. So, after a bit of sounding around, we found this really fishy spot. As I'm heading down towards the bottom, I'm trying to scan through all those surgeon fish to see if there are any good target species like snapper or job fish or even a mango of jack. And right here, I spot something we don't see a lot of, a purple cod. Now these guys can be a bit tricky to shoot. They like to come in, look at you, then dart away, then come back in and look at you again, and then dart away. They're a real tease. So I'm nearly on the bottom here, almost eye level with him. And pull the trigger just as he turns, and smack him straight through the spine. These guys here are really tasty. It's quite a treat to shoot one of these. Lucky I pulled him up before that shark. <laughs> Boys, he might eat them. So I've just spotted something come up and look at the flasher. It looked like a pretty solid fish, so I went down to investigate. Yeah, this was Keechi's goon sack hip flasher, and man, it works so good. I'm going to make my own. And there it is. A really solid hyphen amberjack. He started to swim away from me, so I tried to just relax. Not swim towards him too quickly. And yeah, sure enough he turned around. Let me approach him slowly, nice and slow. There's a few sharks around, so I'm going for the stone shot. I didn't quite stone him, but I really hurt the fish. There are a 
lot of sharks around, so I'm kicking as hard as I can to try and keep him off the bottom and away from the sharks. This thing's actually taking a fair bit of line, so I'm trying to really put the herd on him and lock up the drag and just skull drag him to the surface. So, which unfortunately means I'm not getting to the surface quite as quickly as I'd like. As you can hear there, I was pretty puffed after that fight. But I managed to keep him off the bottom and away from the sharks. I was pretty stoked to shoot a hyphen amberjack. I haven't shot many of them. And this is by far the biggest. I think the one before was maybe only 6 or 7 kilo. So, happy days. So this one ended up weighing 11.7 kilos. Pretty solid fish. So, despite the stuff up with the wahoo, it was still an awesome day. Had so much fun. And uh, the bloke who stuffed up with the wahoo, he pretty well got roasted all the way home. <laughs> if you have any funny stories like that, please share it in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, subscribe as well. Cheers, guys.